Hey Google, add a Notion task. Remind me to prepare a video. So I'll just say that thing. I have added a Notion Anish. Hey, what is up beautiful people, it's Manish and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can make your Google Assistant to save something for you in Notion. So without saying anything, let's hop into this video. So welcome to my workspace. So firstly, we will be using Integromat rather than automated IO thing. So because in, in, in automated IO, if you have to use the feature that I'm going to use, then you should be having a premium plan and basically it isn't free for the free trials. But in Integromat, you can simply use that wavehook for free. The first thing we're gonna need we're gonna be needing is is a wavehook. So first click create a scenario where in that scenario you can we're gonna search for the wavehook. So just simply create select the wavehook and continue select a wavehook and select the custom wavehook which triggers some message so when it receives the data. So simply select that and let's add a new wavehook and let's say it's a notion call and simply save it and this it's gonna create an uh, URL for you simply copy that address to the clipboard and simply go to ifttt this uh, this uh, website which is uh, which in which you can simply create your applets basically what this is in this website so you're just gonna create on uh, uh, applets so basically I have already created this applets but I I'm gonna walk through you on how I create this simply create the applet and just select this uh, Google Assistant so I guess uh, probably there is another video from another youtuber which will be linked in the description box or in this something below where you can use Siri to just trigger that thing same as in like this type of thing but that is more way of uh, easier with easier tax for the iPhone users so yeah so I will be linking that that in the in somewhere so yeah for that iPhone users please go through that video so for the Google Assistant we use this, you can simply use select a phrase with the text anywhere and please select this and so what do you want to say? So I want to say add a notion task and basically I have to put a dollar sign for the speech. The another way of say way to say it. So another way is notion task and dollar sign. So another way is add task in Notion and simply followed by dollar sign. What do you want the assistant to say response? So I just want to say that I have added in Notion Anish and the language is English and this is created trigger. After that then if I say something in this Google phrase then do this means then, then so I want to create that Google Assistant to the webhook because currently there isn't a notion in this applet so when you search notion then there is nothing so we have to create a webhook for that thing so create a webhook set it to webhook and just make a request and paste that request over here simply I'll again copy this address paste it over here and simply use this method as a post so gate and post is different gate means when you receive something data then you are just gonna uh, not do anything with that so you can only you can simply just uh, use that data for the read purposes but for the post method you can simply use that data to post some into something so that's a gate and post method for the waybook so that's the thing and content type is application decision or templates you can simply i i select the text and plain method so the body should be a add ingredient and add a text field from the thing that you prepare that you have created from the google assistant and select create action and and, and create continue and receive a notification when this app runs if you say add a notion task dollar sign followed by dollar sign and your something 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 and then make a web request and just you will be sharing that web request to the thing of the webhook. Okay, so let me just run this thing. So how I create run this thing is by so wait me a second. Give me a second. So basically, when I say this uh, something something, and the stop sign will be converted into I think it's some something something. But I am not sure. Okay. The sub sign should be 
stop saying so it's stop it's okay hey google add a notion task remind me to prepare a video <coughs> hey google prepare video hey google add a notion task remind me to prepare a video okay prepare a video when do you want to be reminded so basically what i was doing wrong was simply i have to select a account from another another video just that i created from iftt so you just have to be aware of that of which account you are using because it works in that account only rather than other account in your device so the notion wasn't picking so the google assistant wasn't picking up that this time so i'm just going to switch that thing and okay so like okay let's say hey google add a notion task remind me to prepare a video I have added in Notion Anish. So yeah, basically I said you that that stops gonna sign is just convert it into something else, and basically it has said that I have recorded Anish, so that was uh, successful. We haven't actually finished yet because because simply we have just created a waybook. So what what we are gonna do next is simply just add that waybook to the Notion task. So. Basically, after created, after you have created a webhook in Integrum Addons, please select this and add another notion, another web module, and add a notion over here because we are probably gonna send that to Notion. Yeah, the imaginations for this is endless, so you can choose whatever you want to actually your connect your webhook to something else rather than Notion itself. So please do check it out if you're interested in this kind of stuffs. And so select this create a database item. and so we just create a database item for the notion thing and yeah please connect your notion thing we and already i have already connected this thing and select the database i'm going to select from the list and i'm going to select it the of this first thing i want to remind you for you is uh, for that to run you simply have you have to simply just share this uh this thing so if you haven't this integrum add op option in this thing then basically that's not going to pop that thing in this uh select the database item so see i have many items in the over here but uh, the thing that is only popping is only this three data because i have only shared that three workspaces in this notion database client so basically that's to have that the thing that you have to be uh, that you have to consider yourself so please share that data workspace to this integrum app basically you can do this is by clicking on share and inviting and uh Yeah, in the integration thing from that is gonna pop up integromat and simply just create select integromat and basically you are you are good to go so after that is so basically this is more much more simpler version than automated i to be honest because you are gonna know that on what thing you are gonna paste something value so i'm just gonna create paste the values of that uh, text in this name field and i'm just i'm not gonna do something anything else you can basically do many thing mapping section you can create your own function you can uh, write some uh, some logical behaviors in this integrum at so basically the possibility for this video or for this way book for this imagination video is endless so you please uh, i'm just gonna make i'm this uh, since i'm gonna make this video show short so i'm just gonna use that simple forward step so as to create so as to consolidate uh, the thing that i want to talk and simply just share it in a fast way so just i'm going to use this value and okay i'm just going to down and okay so i'm just going to run this uh, scenario so okay it's uh, it it ran it ran okay so i'm just going to say first you have to say add a notion task of whatever you have add in that text ingredient and followed by dollar sign and just you're going to put that thing over the thing that you are going to take in mind for the notion to databases simply that uh, after dollar sign uh, you have to say the thing that you want to add into notion so so let's try it again and let's say something else rather than remind me to prepare a video so i'm just going to use the split screen screen okay, let me say the split screen so okay i'm going to run this one Hey Google, add a notion task. Remind me to say thank you to everyone who watches this video. I have added a notion Anish. So yeah, it created. Remind me to say thank you to everyone who watches this video. Sorry, that was watches that other than was. So yeah, basically thank you for watching this video and. it does works if it doesn't works then i it might have some errors in glitches like that stuff but uh it should theoretically work for this at least it has worked for me and i guess many for you it should work properly 
and thank you for watching this video and if you enjoy this video then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and i will catch you guys pretty soon and i will be back with this type of videos for more and yeah catch you guys pretty soon peace out have a great day hey what is up before people it's manish and in this video i'll be showing you how you can create a voice assistant google assistant or siri to just simply just uh, dang it <laughs>